everybody. Sorry for the weird angle. This is going to be a short video. I was going to put this in as part of my historical romance reading vlog, but I think this that that video is long enough as it is. So this is going to be a separate go shopping with me video, and it's going to be short because we're only going to one place. We're going into the the other closest used bookstore that I frequent is called Simpson. It's it's a, t it's a tiny little store, but they have so many books. Like the first time I ever walked in there, I hurt my neck craning to look up on the top because they have books piled on like the top of the shelves. <laughs> so, and they do trade-ins. So I have a bag of books from my unhaul. I think I brought about 17 of them. I didn't bring all of them because I'm just gonna do a little bit at a time. Uh, and they will give you a dollar for each book that you bring in. All their books to buy, all their books, most of them are $3. Like the vast majority are $3. They do have some specialty collections that are a little bit more. And their Harlequins I think are two for a dollar or two for $3. And then their kids books are somewhat cheaper too. I don't plan on getting that many books today. I do want to just browse kind of their, histor their historical romance section. I'll show you clips of it. I'm going to use my phone for that though because I don't like bringing my vlogging camera in places. I think that's just kind of... I don't know, I'm not comfortable with it yet. But we're going to browse the historical romance section because it's huge and see if I can pick out a few things. And that's it. So I have my Thai iced tea ready to go. I brewed this yesterday and they usually tell you to let it cool down. So I let it cool down overnight before I added the half and half to it. So. I'm actually glad that I was able to find it. I always order it when I order Thai food. And I'm like, how do I make this? Like, how do I buy this and make this at home? And the people that own the restaurant I go to actually own a um, like Asian cuisine shop, a store. So they sell the tea bags that they use. And I was like, yes, this is exactly what I want. So I'm super, super excited that I finally get to have it at home as well. Let's go for a drive. friends we are back home and I ended up spending a little bit more and getting a little bit more than I anticipated I traded in 17 books which is $17 and I figured out I'll get you know seven or eight books and then there was one specific book that they had my dog is being nuts so I'm sorry if you hear her nails on the floor because <laughs> I just got home and she's very excited Yes, I know. Um, there was one book they posted on their social media the other day that I was really hoping was still there. And it was, so I'm really, really excited for it. But that was kind of one of the reasons I, like one of the main reasons I wanted to go down there um, was to see if I could still get that book. And then I, I have been wanting to make a trip down there for a couple weeks now since I've been doing my unhaul and I have like three different stacks of books to trade in. So I did one stack today. Um, I zeroed out my credits. So because I ended up spending more than what I traded in, which is fine. And I'll have more to bring next time then. So I will show you guys, if these are in no particular order, they're literally just how I threw them in the bag. And then um, I'm not gonna give a synopsis for them because I have 20 books 
in this bag. I anticipated getting seven or eight, like I said, but um, here I am with a whole tote bag full of books. So the first two books I have are J.R. Ward books. So I have The Jackal and Prisoner of Night. And Prisoner of Night is just the Black Dagger Brotherhood world. So I'm, I don't know if this is a spin -off. I'm not, I'm 100% not sure. Oh, this is, okay. So this is like a uh, in-between book. And then this is part of the, I think this is the first book in the Prison Camp spinoff. So I have those two and they're in really good condition. These ones are in really good condition. A lot of the historicals I got were kind of rough shape, but I honestly, it's not a big deal to me. Can you get, get your nose out of there? There's nothing in there for you. Okay, so here we are into my historical. So the next one I got, of course, this is not a sticker and it's printed on the, on the cover, but that's okay. I got The Bodyguard by Joan Johnston, which is an author I have not heard of. Then I have a Lorraine Heath, Once More My Darling Duke. And then we have, of course, the step back. I gotta remember to show you guys step backs if the books have them. Then I have an Elizabeth Hoyt, When a Rogue Meets His Match. It's part of the Grey Court series and there's no... There's no step back on this one. Um, and then I have a The Highlander's Forbidden Bride by Donna Fletcher. I love my Highlander books, as do most of us historical romance readers. But again, no step back. I got The Countess by Catherine Coulter. And this one has... I like the step back in this. I like the kind of spooky mystery vibes that it has. And I like that it's interesting because there's no... Usually the step backs have like men with the women, but this one does not. Then we have a uh, Laura Lee Girk. I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce her name, so I'm very, very sorry. Laura Lee Girk and the Trouble with True Love. Again, no step back. And I'm sorry, like it's so dark. I don't know how, I'm not so familiar with my camera that I like can just, you know, play with the back of it and change the, the lighting. So I'm sorry that it's really dark. Um, then I have another Laura Lee Girk. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering her name. I'll figure out how to pronounce it after this video. But um, No Mistress of Mine, which is part of an American Heiress in London series. And this one, I believe, does have a step back. And then there's the, I guess those are the other books in the series. But... This one, I pretty much got this as kind of a joke, but not really. Like, I'll read it. And you saw in the clip that I showed of me browsing, and it's Pirate by Fabio, and that's Fabio on the cover. And uh, I don't know, and it says it's in, um, the sexiest man in the world invites you to join him in his romantic fantasy. So he like co-wrote this with the help of, yeah, Pirate by Fabio in collaboration with Eugenia Ridley. I was like, no. And then of course he has it. I don't know if it's like, he actually signed it or it's just that was like how it was printed in the book and then of course it has <laughs> this fold out little picture of him and I was just like but yeah I know that a lot of us a lot of the historical romance in the romance community talks about um you know Fabio books that Fabio is on to cover a lot of historical romances so when I saw that he had a like written one I was like no way so I did get it it's a pirate I love pirate romances pirates and highlanders and so I'm interested I'll try it out so this one had two different copies I'm assuming this copy is the original the first printing um and that is someone to watch over me by Lisa Kleypas and it has like the cutout cover like and then and there's the step back they did have the newer edition that had the picture. And then I have another Lorraine Heath, The Viscount and the Vixen. Again, these are all, I noticed that some of them, like the Avon, don't have step backs in them. But I'm, again, that's not like a huge priority of mine when I'm looking at books. Next one I have is a Suzanne Enoch, After the Kiss, a book part, that's part of the Notorious Gentleman series. And I think this one does have a step back. We're almost done, guys. I said this video is going to be short, and then it's not. <laughs> I have another Suzanne Enoch, Sins of a Duke. I just realized someone's address is on the top corner. I'll see. I'll make sure I can blur that out if I catch it. Um, 
Okay, then I have one that I would, this is the first book I picked up and I was like, oh yes, absolutely. I do want this one. And that is The Hunter by Kerrigan Byrne. I do have uh, The Highwaymen. And I think this is actually the third one in the series. Or this is the second one. Maybe it's the second one. One of them's about a hitman. Uh, yes. This is the one I wanted. There's the Highwayman, the Hunter, and then I think there's a third one. I don't remember which what the third one is. But yeah, I was very excited to that I saw this. This was the first one I saw and I picked it, immediately picked it up. It stood right out to me. Oh, here we go. Here's the other J.R. Ward book, A Warm Heart in Winter, which is the other, the Christmas one. I think it's the one that goes with, is it the one that goes with this? Uh, no, Where Winter Finds You is the other one. This is... I know it's part of the Black Dagger Brotherhood. It's another like in between book, I believe, but I'm still on book two. So I have a long way to go before I even get to those. Uh, next one I have is an Anna Harrington, Inconvenient Duke. The, um, we're down to the last couple and then the special one I went there to get. To get. Next I have a Karen Hawkins and that is To Catch a Highlander. And then that is our step back for that one. The final historical romance I have is a Julie Garwood, Ransom by Julie Garwood. Okay, so that's it for the mass markets for the historical romances and the J.R. Ward books. But this one, this last book, is the one I specifically went here to get. Like I said, I saw them post it on their social media that they had received it as a trade-in. And I was like, uh, yes please. And that is Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Shauna McGuire, which is the second book I think it's the second is it the second book I'm terrible uh yes of the wayward children series every hundred doorway is the first one which I have but the thing about this one is it's an arc it's an uncorrected proof copy of the book and on the back it has all of the campaign and promotional information on the back and I was like uh I don't think you can like you're not it says not for sale on sale June 2017, uncorrected proof, not for sale. And I'm like, I don't think you can sell that, but someone traded it in. So I figured I'll go rescue it. And I'm not one that like collects, like the arcs are, I, I get excited to read things early. I do a lot of net galley reading. Well, not a lot, but I have done mostly net galley reading. Um, but I realized that, you know, you're not supposed to sell arcs or anything like that. So I figured I would save it and I would keep it and it would have a nice home on my shelf. And I was thrilled that this was still there. I'm, I'm very surprised someone didn't scoop this up. But yeah, so I figured I, I'd rescue this and give it a nice home. So that's it. That's my come shopping with me. I'm sorry I didn't show you any more of the store, but that main aisle was that entire aisle was all historical romances floor to ceiling and I was just like I only showed you part of me browsing because I just ended up getting so distracted and overwhelmed and then there was a whole there was the store is not big but it's got like seven aisles but they're they're very narrow aisles and all of them are like that floor to ceiling there's freaking books on top of the shelves and it's it's overwhelming and I just only showed you that little bit, but there was a lot more to browse through, and I spent probably close to an hour in there. Mostly, in the, I literally just went up and down the historical romance section, and then right to the paranormal romance, paranormal books, which is where I know where they keep the J.R. Wards and you know the Gina Showalter and the Nalini Sings and all of those, which I haven't delved into yet, but they're on my they're on my list of interested books I'm interested in reading and authors I'm interested in exploring. So right now I'm just trying to collect the the J.R. Wards and get that out of the way and read those. But so that's why I didn't really browse anywhere else than that one aisle and then that little section. So that's it. And then they do, oh, then they do have like a section, anything they post on their Facebook, on their social media, they have an actual shelf just for that. That says everything that's currently recently been shared on our Facebook page. And that's where this was. So I knew where to find this. Um, so those are the only couple places that I really browsed through, but that's it. <laughs> that video, like I said, is longer than it should have been, but I got more books than I 
thought I would. I was gonna try to hold these up, but I don't know if I can. We'll see. We'll see if I can do it. So these are... <laughs> these are all of my books. Can we do this as the thumbnail? <laughs> you can't even see my face. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, 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 that's great. That's great. Okay, I am going to go. I hope you guys had fun, as much fun with this video as I did. These are the books that just fell all over the floor. Anyway, I'll see you guys in my next one.